Hey everybody, Jason Moss here, and today I want to show you one of my favorite uh, tools. Uh, it's actually a Chrome extension that I use every single day, multiple times a day. I absolutely love it. A lot of you might already be using it, but a lot of you might not even know about it. Okay, so that tool, all right, is called the Video Speed Controller. All right, now when I was introduced to this tool, uh, maybe a year ago or so, I did not even realize that I needed it in my life, okay? Um, somebody was asking about how to uh, play the videos faster inside of this course that I was in, and I was like, why would they want to watch the videos faster? And then I started playing around with it, and I'm realizing you can watch videos a lot faster than 1x speed and still completely understand everything, all right? And... And it didn't even like uh, register to me because I was already doing that with like all my audible books. I listened to those on like one and a half or one and three quarter speed, depending on, on the speaker, of course. And doing it on video is, you know, just the same. You can completely understand everything. So um, if you go to Google Chrome um, and just search in Google for video speed controller, you will see this in the Chrome store. And then you can, this button will say like add to Chrome, I believe. And then you just install it. You can see it's very, very popular. Okay. And let me show you how to do it. All right. Because I use it uh, on YouTube. I use it on a couple different other spots. Um, YouTube, you, you're probably already thinking, well, YouTube, you can already speed up videos. Yes, you can. So for instance, like if we're playing this video here, sorry, we can um, YouTube gives us these options to speed up. So I use those all the time. But once you have video speed controller installed, you have this up here on the top of any video. Okay. So you can speed it up here. And you have much better increments. It's not just a 0.25 increments. It's 0.10. All right. And you can speed it up really fast. Right, and you can see, you can completely understand myself very easily, all right, even on, uh, what is this, 2.6 speed. All right, you can also skip ahead. You can jump ahead 10 seconds, you can go back 10 seconds, which comes in very, very handy. Um, with YouTube's controller, you can't do that at all. Um, other spots I like to use it. A big, big one is on Facebook. Okay. Facebook has no video speed controller. You cannot speed up videos whatsoever. So if I'm watching like, uh, this video here. All right. If you hit their options, they do not have a speed controller. Okay. But up here, now I can watch this documentary in, you know, half the time. You know, it's awesome. I love it. All right. Other places you can do it. Uh, believe it or not, you can do it on Netflix, okay, on your desktop. So here's the thing. I wouldn't recommend doing this when you're watching a movie because that kind of takes away from the movie and the cinematic part of it. But if you're watching like a documentary, like this is... Uh, the Devil We Know, which is about like Teflon pans and stuff like that. Um, as you can see up here on the top left, you can speed those right along too um, and watch a documentary in half the time. So, yeah, this is just a, a simple, short little video uh, to explain. This is one of my favorite tools. I love it. Um, it's called, once again, Video Speed Controller. You will find a lot of uses for it. Um, I found even on some some different audio things that I listen to on my desktop, even though it's not like a video player, um, sometimes the option to speed it up still pops up and I can listen to these audio files um, at a faster rate as well. So there, there's lots of uses with it. But yeah, go to the Google Chrome store, get Video Speed Controller. It's awesome. You'll love it. So there it is, guys. That's the video speed controller. I hope it helps you as much as it helps me uh, with all the different things that I'm doing online. 
If you have more requests like this in the future, just leave a comment below. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. It does help me quite a bit. And I love that, uh, love all the requests that you guys have been sending in via the comment section. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.